yeah today's video i'm gonna be sharing my experience about my son's school like finally my child is in secondary school like i have a son in secondary school you have no idea what it makes me feel or how i feel about it yes i've always vlogged about my life you know living where i currently live and everything that evolves around what i do yeah it's gone to school actually and i was just like yeah i've actually not shared this experience and i think i need to do that talking about you know the age thing and schooling in ghana mm. yeah because my son we're all in nigeria you know before we came here to ghana i think i need to sit down let me just get myself well so that i could do this video <laughs> So I'm just trying to get it all set and yeah there we go guys so like I was saying I don't think I was able to set my camera well so guys as I was saying when we came in I've always talked about when we came to Ghana why we we're in Ghana and all that so my child had this issue of you know having to start school two years behind what where he was already in Nigeria I had an issue with that in fact, the class they actually gave him when we came here, I was not so satisfied with it because I just wanted him to continue from where he stopped. But we had a challenge that his age is too young. They don't allow search here, you know. And I was like, why? Well, it was already in so and so class back home. And they were like, no, they're not going to allow that. And because of that, I had that issue. Guys, so I was seriously bothered. I was seriously bothered and I didn't feel too good about it that he had to, you know, imagine, you know what it feels like that you're already a year, you know, you, you and your colleagues, you know, and they're already going ahead of you and because of one thing or the other policy and all that, you have to be a year behind. In fact, you had to be two years behind, but it was just, no, please, it's not going to work. And it's like, even if we do assessment on him, this is this, he's too young for this age, for this class, I mean, the class where he is, those in the class, and I was surprised to be hearing that people are in primary, I think primary four, and they are 10, 11 years. I said, how can 10, uh, what's it called, primary four be 10, 11, like how, why? And all that but I noticed that that's the system here you could actually most of them actually finish secondary school at 18 19 in Ghana and I wasn't I didn't I wasn't I, I wasn't flowing with that guys like I wasn't flowing with it at all I wanted him in primary five they were like they can do primary because he was in primary four in Nigeria primary three but he was using primary four you know model books and all that so technically he's supposed to go to primary five because he has already done primary four you're supposed to be in primary five but they said no he has to do primary four so it's, it was repeating class i don't know if you guys understand that so he had to repeat class instead of him to go to primary five he's repeating primary four here so i had no choice but to go ahead with that and even when they did that assessment on him they were like no uh, it's not gonna mean anything because he's even young for his age that the primary four they're even giving to him is too young to be in primary four that is supposed to be in primary three are you seeing what i mean by i was supposed to go to class backwards because of his age but because i was bent on telling them that he has done this primary four already so you cannot take him back because of age or no age and all that so they gave him primary four out of probability they're like they are just doing it because if not he is going to go to primary three so he did primary four he did primary five in ghana primary six is compulsory you have to do primary six here in nigeria primary six most children when they are done with primary five they move straight to the gss one because i don't know uh, primary six is seen as what you're doing in primary six is still what you're going to do in gs1 you know so a lot of parents don't even bother they just from primary six so i say it so at age nine in primary five you're moving to primary and gss1 gss1 you're 10 years so here he did primary four primary five and that's first them primary six and finally we relocated so because we left where we were before and now where we are we're like no we can't continue because of the distance we couldn't continue anymore in the former school where he was so we got a school very close by 
and when we went for the entry they asked how old is he i was already waiting to like no my child is not gonna do this 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 that because i'm calculating in my head in nigeria at 16 15 16 you're out of secondary school but in ghana you have to be 18 19 to be out of secondary school 18 19 in nigeria should be getting ready she'll be in you know year two or year three in what's it called in university so in my head i'm not thinking about the whole thing no his colleagues his friends already so so and so you know if we go back to nigeria there's going to be this conflict of I didn't just want any of that, like, I was just so concerned about, you know, dragging him behind, paying school fees for something you've done before and all that, you know, so, that was it, guys. So, <laughs> this school, they were not too bothered about, I just told them GS1, they are like, okay, GS1, they didn't, they were like, oh, that means, how old is he, the question comes, I say it's 10 years old, 10 years old for GS1, he's actually too young for that, but, saying, but, has he done his promises? I say yes, he did first 10 promises, but I really don't first 10 promises because the school still runs uh, what's it called um, September to August or July. Uh, what's it called? They were still running their schools in Ghana will still run September to July. But where it's going to right now runs January to December. Yes, the COVID period actually changed the whole lot. Some schools were able to meet up, some schools were not able to meet up, but most schools right now do January to December. So he had already done first term primary six in the new school, the, or the former school. He had already done, what's it called, first term primary six in the former school. So coming here now, they are starting a new section. So there's no way he's actually going to go and start primary six all over again. Are you saying it? Because it's going to be another waste of money for me or for the family. Yes, for us. So we didn't want that. So going there, telling them that we wanted a GS1. And they took him. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I'm coming to class, it was like, how old are you? Everybody will be interested. Oh, who is this new student? How old are you? And he's telling them I'm 10. And everybody was like, 10 years? Like, what is a 10 year old boy looking for here? I don't get it. 10 year old, you're actually too small. You're supposed to be in primary four or maybe primary five. And I'm like, please don't listen to all that again. You are there, you are there. This is where you're supposed to be. Back home, if you're back home, this is it. And this was what I always wanted from the beginning, which I did not really get. But right now, finally, my child is in secondary school and it makes me feel so good as a mom. Like, oh, so 12 years ago, journey, I now have a child in secondary school. You guys know, you don't understand how this thing makes me feel as a mom. This was in January. I know I'm doing this story now in February, you know, yeah, but it makes me feel good. As a mother, I'm, I have a secondary school child. In fact, I know it's university. Oh, so 10 years. At 16, it will be out of secondary school. But I know by that time, I won't be in Ghana anymore. That's fair. That's for sure. I won't be in Ghana, probably back to Nigeria or wherever I find myself. But I'm so good. Like, that's the experience. So, the secondary school or the, the education system in Ghana, finishing secondary school at 18, 19, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's I think the system, I don't know. I feel it should like make it 16 is fine or at most 17 should be out of secondary school but 18 19 no i don't think i want that some some persons imagine immediately you come out from secondary school 16 17 18 19 20 years that's four years in university and you're done with university at 22 23 you're done with your master's if you want to do your phd you can go along at 26 you're done with everything in school then you can move out there you know to get sort for life but if i follow the system here that means if it's going to be doing all these things doing secondary masters phd you'll be finishing at maybe 28 29 when are you not going to like settle down to really focus on that career you know so somehow i think i prefer the nigerian system in this case yeah sometimes i feel we are too fast but don't blame me as it is right now, we're in a fast world, and as far as that child can cope, because most children can cope, it depends on what you put in. Children are just, then they are plain slates. Whatever you put into them is what they know. So I know sometimes you try to say, oh, you're trying to be fast. You're too fast for their comprehension. Children comprehend anything. Like, in fact, the kind of things my children do, you'll be thinking, in those days, probably in those days, yeah, we knew it was like, 
too hard or too big for you know the developmental stage in those days but right now anything you put in most of these children a lot of you see my kids they can vlog my children can comfortably vlog right now and it's just 10 and Joel is going to be 8 this year I won't tell you what class Joel is maybe he's going to come and tell you yourself but I'm focusing on Derry right now that Derry is a secondary school boy here in Ghana yeah so like i've always said the system when it comes to primary and secondary is almost the same and they really don't see any difference between what we have back home and what is here i think it's in the tertiary we have very different what's we call we have very very different um maybe scheme and standard the fact that you know yeah i know once in a while they also strike here but they are strike according to the students that uh, schools in Kenya UST, she told me their strike is not as you know, bad as what we have in Nigeria, where you can go eight months straight, no school, nobody's concerned, and all that. But in Nigeria, a lot of people prefer private university, just send your child to private university where four years is four years, and we have a lot of that. But not everybody can still afford the private university, so you still have to go to government university. So sometimes parents, instead of now sending their child to government university in Nigeria, they say, Okay, just go. Come to Ghana and school. I see a lot of like there are a lot of Nigerians here, either schooling, doing business, one thing or the other, and so on and so forth. Because sometimes I read in my comment section, somebody say, Why are you? I remember when I did a video talking about second home, Ghana being a second home to a lot of Nigerians, and a lot of persons were like, What's she even saying? This is this is I'm, I'm telling you the fact that's that's the fact because there are a lot of Nigerians living here. Statistically, Nigerians, when it comes to immigrants living in Ghana, Nigerians are actually the highest. So that's like a second home. I see a lot of Nigerians who are married to Ghanaians, Ghanaians married to Nigerians. Do business wise, out in the West African country, the closest country to Nigeria when it comes to language is actually Ghana. So it's easier for a lot. Vacation wise, this is where a lot of people come to. So I do a lot of these videos to like put people through. This is my like my personal life. I'm talking about my child and the education system here. So if you're living here or you tend you want to live here, please you know that the age thing is education wise they will bring it up they must bring it up for you that oh your child is not this your child is not that but of course you just need to let them know that this is a my child just has to finish university uh, so, sorry my child just has to finish secondary school by 16 going to 17 so that by 20 going to 21 is done with university that is how i've known the system so changing it was going to look a little bit difficult for me and i thank god that at the end of the day everything is back to how it's supposed to be so so he did the primary four he actually repeated primary four twice but though they wanted him to go to primary three which i wasn't happy because they're like by the age this is where it's supposed to be i'm like in nigeria he was doing very very fine you know so he would did his primary four primary five and he did primary six partly and right now is in GSS what yuppie I feel good as a mom you know <laughs> every 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 woman just wants you know the best for their children and all that so that's my video for today all right so give this video a thumbs up that's to like the video so I get more engagement and subscribe to my channel thank you so much everybody bye